Are you going to bring your water jug? I'll bring my sippy cup. Your sippy cup? What's that? Guns.com, oh, baby. Nice. You know what I'm sporting? You're sporting guns.com. I'm sporting two world wars. I know. Dose I'm... from Alchemy Custom Weaponry. Also a uh, Cabot shield. And then... 1911. Rises, rises to the top. Oh, yeah. You know, because I'm a company man. Oh, You're no. Right. I mean, no, I get it. I bought a lot of old guns from these guys, though. Drinking mm. things out of a straw, man. Well, I only drink water out of a straw. Yeah, I don't drink anything else out of a straw. Oh, milkshakes. Big Mil straws? Milkshakes? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, milkshakes are amazing. Baby. Hey, y'all. It's Eli with Alchemy Custom Weaponry, and I'm here with... Nick. Nick. Wait, is it short for Nicholas? It is are short you, for Nicholas. Are you Nicholas? A Nicholas? I am a Nicholas with a C-H. Nicholas. Nic Nicholas. N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Yes, that's that my was complicated. My phone. So, well, his name ain't even Eli. He's he's over here pulling. You know, I'm I'm Eli. I'm actually like William Duckworth the Seventeenth. Exactly. That's actually not a lie. Yeah. That? So that's, I mean, pretty... you know, you, you want to talk about my names? This, this one right. <laughs> this one right here has names. He, he gets a you know important phone call. Hello, this is William Duckworth. <laughs> like, yeah, he's he's got he's living multiple lives, and you just don't know it out there. So anyway, we're getting to get into a cool video today. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I. I'm pretty jazzed up about a lot of our videos. This might be one of my favorites because uh, we're here in Cabot, PA. As for many of you that don't know, Cabot owns Alchemy Custom Weaponry. Yes, we do. And so we do have the factory at Fort Wayne, and then all of your guns are shipped to Cabot, PA, where our fantastic, uh, you know, QC uh, extraordinaire right, yes. takes care of all the QC uh, there, and then of course they're shipped out. At that point, the nice thing is, is we're here at the the Cabot Vault. Um, which is absolutely gangster. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's my, it, it, I, if I could set up a cot in there, I would yeah. sleep in the vault. And, and it is, is exactly what you would think a Cabot vault would be. Yeah. The doors are pinstripe painted uh, with, with the logos on them. Yes. It's, it's got a bar in there. They've got C96 broom handle Mausers. There, there are, uh, there are you guns know? you would not expect uh, to be in there, and, and they are in there. And just wild, cool Cabots. But there is also some really cool alchemies. alchemies. And especially these three that we picked out. And I'm, I'm going to be relying on you. You're going to have to kind of learn me a little bit because all of these guns predate my time here at Alchemy Custom Weaponry. They, um, they are BE. B -E, before, before Eli. Eli yeah. Before Eli. So I'm excited. I, there's, you know, this gun, I remember when this gun came out. We'll mm -hmm. talk about it here in a second. And I, I, I still may steal this gun. This I'm specific very, one. I'm very happy yep. with how these turned out. But... Let's talk about it. I'm going to kind of give you the range. Well, we're going to we're going to go in chronological order. Yeah. So, and also a little bit of history. So, Alchemy Custom Weaponry um, was originally a a custom shop uh, run by Rob Shawland, you know, fantastic gunsmith. My dad. And, yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, not Papa. He's just I just dad. call him Pop. He's calling Pop. Yeah, That's yeah. right. So, you know, he he started Alchemy Custom Weaponry as a um, a you know, traditional custom one shop, shop, one yeah. man shop, where you send in you know your Colts, your Springers, whatever package you want. Your He's your bears. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Bear, bears with claws or? No, bears with, you know, hot rods. Bears with hot rods. Yes, exactly. So, you know, all that. And then when Cabot brought Rob on board, we purchased the brand Alchemy Custom Weaponry and, and wanted to make custom pistols that were everything that you'd look for in, in a traditional custom pistol, but built from the ground up on you know, parts that were made to our spec, but still be hand fit yep. and really create something that was distinctly different in the market. Um, that still we, is. That still is distinctly yep. different in the market, but harkens back to the 90s the and 80s. in the 80s a lot. So that's where a lot of the inspiration comes from. So when, when we were doing that, um, there is a prototype pistol. Uh, yep. We have Alchemy ACW 001 is actually in Fort Wayne yep. on display there. But this actually predates ACW-001. So this is the prototype for the Alchemy Prime. Yeah. Now, some differences that you're going to notice on this frame. First off, it's not serialized Alchemy Custom Weaponry uh, because we were using, Rob was using, you know, available parts to put these together without, you know, going through that process yet. So it's not serialized Alchemy Custom Weaponry because it predates that process. So 001, like I said, is on, on uh, display there. This is the first prototype. And so it is got, uh, it has a few differences that then 
blended into what you'll notice on a traditional prime. So first off, it is a five inch gun. It does have the undercut mm -hmm. that you are gonna see on primes, Quanticos, all of our single stack pistols, which is gonna get that real nice high, you know, grip purchase to get your, you know, high grip on the gun, help to mitigate, mitigate recoil. People tell me that they love the undercut, you know, quite frequently. It also has the comfort carry checkering on the front of the pistol. And then it has real standard checkering. It's a little bit tighter on the mainspring housing. Uh, the checkered wood grips. Of course. So this, this is pretty noticeable to be what you consider to be a prime. Once you get up a little bit higher, it starts to deviate because what do we have right here on the frame? An A1 style sca uh, scallop. A1 style scallop. So as this gun was put together, everybody looked at it and said, well, this is great and it looks fantastic, but it doesn't really stand out yep. from other pistols on the market. <clears throat> and just the simple act of going back to a scallop free area here, which- Pre-1924. Pre-24 style frame, yes. what that does is that actually creates a larger flat on the pistol. And one of the big things for Alchemy is about not just how it's fit and how it functions, but how it's finished. Oh, so when yeah. you have a nice big flat in that area and you polish it and blue it, looks fantastic. So ACW001, has polished flats and is blued. Another thing on this gun that's gonna be different is the finish. This <laughs> is this is a, a coated pistol. It is coated with KG gun coat. So it's a very simple finish in order to achieve a black or dark blue, it's actually black on this pistol, finish to see how it's gonna look. And very quickly, you know, everyone realized that it needed to be adjusted a little bit into a traditional blued pistol because looking at the market, there's just not a lot of options for that out there. So, there, well, there's only one semi other semi custom manufacturer that regularly does carbon steel bleed pistols. Yes. And you know, everyone has a, a coated gun of some kind. Yep. So, you know, it makes sense for us to, and of course with the heritage, you know, yeah. the, the heritage of a guns. blued, yeah, blued steel and sex appeal. Damn straight. Now you come up to the slide and you know, it, it's going to have a traditional stirrup cut that you're going to see up in the front. And you're going to see the text on it that you'll recognize from today and the strong arm logo. However, these serrations here at UI. Oh, they look wide. They're, they're wider. Nice. They're wider and they're going to be a stand, more of a standard modern serration where you're just taking in melt and cutting them straight yep, up yep, as yep, opposed yep. to an angled, you yep. know, style of older cocking serration, which is what we eventually went with on, on the Prime the series. It makes a big difference. Then you move forward. And if you look here at the ejection port. Oh yeah, it's got the, the, the cut. The, it's, got, uh, it's got the cut, but also when you compare it here, to this Optimus Prime, you notice well, anything about the height? Yeah, this one's a little higher. Yeah, so this, this slide, originally the idea was to have a, a higher ejection port with the flare, but what was really cool is to say, you know, if we take that flare out, that's really just visual, and then still lower that ejection port to what a normal modern pistol is gonna be at, it's completely unique to have yep. a flareless modern lowered ejection port really changes the whole look of the gun. Now, the rear sight is the ACW ledge. Front sight on this one is white, white. a white dot. Tritium. No, it's actually, yeah, it's actually tritium. And then, uh, you know, bushing. And this one has a not flush cut, but a crown barrel. So there was some different, you know, choices that were made to make the prime have a traditional barrel profile or a flush cut and crown and uh, it just morphed into what we have today. So this is a very cool piece of ACW history. No, this is really cool. And of course, uh, a non-alchemy mark barrel. Yeah. You know, because this is really predates, uh, you know, all the production there. It's just really cool to hold this piece of, uh, you know, piece of history and like, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with all things alchemy. So, you know, when you get to hold the Genesis, you know, yeah, uh, it's kind of, it's a really emotional experience too. And, and like you said, I mean, this is the gun that started it all. And, yeah. And it's really cool to see where we've come from that. Yeah. And then something else that we have over here, if we go to the other side of the yeah. crate, this is something that we get, you know, <laughs> requests for, oh, yeah. uh, you know, pretty frequently. So this is the anomaly. Okay. And as you're looking at this pistol, this is a commander style or a commander size pistol. So, you know, your traditional commander, traditional commander slide, Full traditional ish commander frame. Yep, yep. However, if you come to the back here, there is a bobbed hammer. Real bobbed. Real bobbed. Right. Real bobbed no hammer. hammer. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's no spur of any There's time. no spur. So there is no chance you are carrying this gun hammer down no. one in the chamber because be I don't know if I could technically do that without it no. getting caught on the uh, 
on the, the, the half cock notch down there. And it also, in order to uh, facilitate this look, the frame has been cut. bobbed and oh, cut yeah, back there. Yeah. And the grip safety is not, you know, a, uh, an A1 style grip safety. Oh, it's, 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 it's a, a standard beaver tail without the tail. So it's a tailless beaver. Tailless beaver. It's a tailless beaver. Not good. So, so this was, yeah, this was something uh, that was come up with and it looked really unique. And the idea was to have, you know, something that when you're carrying it, cocked and locked, because that's the only way you really could carry this, the beaver tail is not going to be protruding. Now, you do have a hammer that is protruding out there, right. but it's really going to be right there in line with, with, the the, gun. with the butt of the gun. So this was a cool idea. Limited run. A cool limited run. So this <laughs> one had a limited engagement because... It looked really cool. And the anomaly, the name anomaly, like, cause it's, it's super unique. So it looked cool. However, sometimes, okay, we always say, you know, part of shooting good is looking good. You wanna look cool. Sometimes you may want to also have that functionality in there. And when you bob this grip safety off, there are a couple hot spots that come in there. And then, you know, figuring out how to lower this hammer if you should need to became difficult. So it was a limited run, something that was very cool, but just the feedback that we got from the market said, not something that we should have <laughs> out there at all times. And when you're a new company and you're a new brand, you, you, do, you, yeah, you try things. Try so this was a fun thing to try, but the, the anomaly, if you find one out there or you happen to want one, you're gonna have to find one on but, the second hand yeah, market because yeah, yeah. this is not, it, it's no longer a thing as we like to say. Right, and I think that, I, I really do think that this is just gangster, um, but. It looks so cool with the hammer down. Correct. And when it's cocked and locked, it um, has a <laughs> unique profile. No, no, of course, and I, I have heard, I've actually never shot one of these. Yeah. This is actually the first time I've handled one of these. Mm -hmm. um, and I've heard that, uh, you know, shooting them is not the most fun just because of the way the, the, the the grip comes back into mm -hmm. your hand, um, but it is a cool piece of, of a 1911 history, really. It is. Um, it, it, this it has never be... been really done before. So Or since. And we will probably <laughs> leave it there. Exactly, but, yeah. You know, and I think that's something cool we can look back on and, and see some things we did that are cool, but we say, hey, you know, that's that's we're just going to keep on trucking from there. Keep on moving um, But forward. it is a really cool gun, and, you know, I, I have a lot of people who still ask for yeah. them. Um, we obviously don't do it, so don't ask me. Uh, and then we're coming to what I think might be one of, and it is rivaled by the gun that we actually saw earlier today, um, but one of the coolest alchemies ever. Yes. Yeah, this right here is the Optimus Prime. And of Transformers. Of, 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 of Transformers fame, really. Big red truck. Big, yeah, big red truck. Yeah, I think it was a Peterbilt. Might not have been. I hope it was. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of comments on this. Anyways. Uh, moving on to more relevant facts. Uh, this this pistol, when we came out with the color case hardened finish on Alchemy Custom Weaponry, we were looking at it and looking at all the features that were on it and wanted to offer a, limit, a limited edition engraved version of this pistol with upgraded grips. But this was a few years ago where, um, but we, we wanted to really make it super limited. So for those of y'all that don't know, uh, Cabot has this program called the Gun of the Month Club, which is the pinnacle of pinnacle, the of the month yeah. club. The members. most gangster month club you can see. Yeah, there's Meat of the Month, there's yeah. Jelly of the you Month. Dollar Shave Club of the Month. Shave Club of the Month. You I obviously would, are not a I'm member not a of member, that. Correct. Yeah, they, yeah that, you'd bankrupt them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is Gun of the Month Club where members have a, a custom limited edition pistol delivered every single month. And for October of 2022, we elected to take a prime color case hardened, which we had just released the year before, and opted to engrave it to create this fantastic, you know, legacy piece that just looks amazing from all different angles. We have uh, mammoth ivory grips, the blue uh, PVD small parts, and in fact, these are actually niter blue small oh, parts on, nice. on this pistol. So this is the prototype that we built to see how it, was, how it would look and how the engravings are going to go onto the finished pistol. So the actual pistols we built, the engraving was slightly different. Um, we're not really gonna talk about how they were different. That is for the Gun of the Month members to know and for them to find out if you were lucky to be in that 2022 Gun of the Month. But this is the prototype that we built for the photography to promote 
that program. So this gun is just very cool. Well, and, and I think it's also good to note because you see so much of this around. Um, mm -hmm. This is not laser engraved. No. This is hand engraved. This is hand engraved. This is yes, sir. traditional hand engraving. So, you know, that, that really does set it apart from, you know, a lot of, I guess, quick engraved pistols you see on the market these yeah. days. I mean, this is an actual, like, hand engraved legacy piece um, that it can be handed down for, for many years to come. So I definitely, this is a gun that when I, I was not working uh, at Alchemy when this gun came out. Correct. And I remember seeing it and being like, uh, I don't know who I have to, you know, uh, Pleasure. Pleasure for that, but I will definitely uh, take You have to that. pleasure someone that's going to give you a lot of money so you yeah. can buy 12 guns to be in Gun of the Month right. Club. Right, yes. and, you know, I think that is just, I, I think that's one of the most cool things ever, too, that, you know, it's it's a super exclusive deal, Yeah. Um, you know, and only those people have the Optimus Prime, and, and I'll be honest with you, that's a cool name, and it definitely is cooler that it ties into the, to the Prime name. Yep. Uh, and let's be honest, it's everybody's favorite Autobot, so. Yeah. I'm on Team Decepticon, though. Well, that's, yeah, well, I can see that. It makes you, sense. You it makes sense. Nick the Dick. Yep, true that. That'd be your Transformer name. So, yeah, this is a really cool walk down memory lane with Alchemy. I appreciate you doing this because, like I said, all of these guns predate my time here. Yep. Um, and I know that you've been with Alchemy pretty much from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, five years now. I mean, it, it, yep. was, it was a year and a half after the relaunch of the pistol brand. So, yep. from the beginning-ish, you know, I've been here. Yeah, so yep. it's really cool, uh, you know, to see all this stuff. And I'm excited for one day, hope it, hopefully down the road, I get to do a video where I talk about some of the cool stuff from when I started. So Yeah, that'd be um, cool. This is a really cool thing. I'm glad we got it all out here for y'all. And uh, thanks for coming uh, to to the vault tour or our vault from tour. the vault from the we vault. took them from the vault yes. and brought them up here to Absolutely. the stage. Absolutely, yes, to the church, the church, to the sanctuary, the sanctuary, the sanctuary. yes. So anyways, thank you all for joining us. We had a great time uh, walking down memory lane with you. Remember, carry cocked and locked. We'll see you next time.